Good morning, everyone. This is Linda, and today is Wednesday, March 6th. Yeah, I hope you all are having a beautiful day. I want to thank you all for stopping by my channel just to hang out with me for a little while. So today I want to talk to you all about the melons that I am going to be growing this season. Yeah, so the first melon I'm going to grow is this one if I can get it to focus it'd be nice <laughs> and that is um, a crimson sweet yeah there it is it's a crimson sweet and I'm definitely looking forward to growing this melon uh, I, I did grow some last season and yeah the possum yeah the possum ate some of them <laughs> anyway we're gonna do it again um, the next one I've never grown before, and that is the, uh, the Garden Leader Monster. I never grew this, uh, this watermelon before, but yeah, we're gonna, we gonna give it a shot. Let's see what it do. I hope you all are having a great morning. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful. And, and this one is a, a orange tender sweet um, watermelon. Yeah, uh, I grew this once. I'm not too, it, it's not my favorite. Let me say that. It's not my favorite, but um, the kids love it. So we're gonna plant that one. And of course, we're gonna plant this black diamond. So I heard a lot of great things about Black Diamond. I looked at a lot of videos after I purchased it because just when I saw it in the store, uh, I I had never seen it before. So yeah, I, I'm excited to try this one. I'm looking forward to it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, we're going to plant the Georgia rattlesnake. Yeah. The Georgia rattlesnake. So I'm going to plant this one too. Now there's a story behind this seed and the next seed I'm going to show you. That uh, it, it started off with a friend giving two friends some seeds. One seeds uh, this friend gave um, his friend some was these Georgia rattlesnake seeds. But the other friend he gave him these seeds. And these seeds are... The Bradfords. Yeah. They gave them the Bradfords. Now, the Bradfords was known as the sweetest uh, watermelon in the South. And um, it kind of fell off the map because, you know, they started to develop watermelons that were tough enough to be shipped from, uh, you know, all over the, all over the world. And the Bradford... The Bradford couldn't do that because their skins were so delicate. So, you know, the big companies would not, you know, grow these watermelons. No. So, the family, the family, oh, the story behind this watermelon, really, you should look that story up. It is amazing. It is amazing that, um... His, uh, he's the sixth generation, and now he 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 had the seeds, and he's growing these melons, and now he's shipping them in a different way. He's making pickled watermelon rind. He's making watermelon syrup. Uh, it is just amazing, and I can't wait to make some of these um, pickled rinds from my first Bradford. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, guys, so these are my watermelons that I'm going to be growing this season. Yeah. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope all is well with you all. Yeah, it's been, um, it, you know, like I said, it's a little chilly, but it's getting warmer and everything is going well. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. All right, guys. Later, y'all.